Hi dear students, uh, welcome to the Easy English classes. Today we are going to study a poem of 10th standard. It is Karnataka State Board uh, syllabus. Uh, so its name is To a Pair of Sarah Spring. It is written by Manmohan Singh. Before starting the poem, I would like to explain what is this uh, To a Pair of Sarah Spring. Uh, to a Pair of Sarah Spring. Here there is a pair. एक जोड़ा है किसका है सारा स्क्रीन सारा स्क्रीन बर्ड होते हैं यहाँ पे डिस्प्ले किया गया है द सेम बर्ड आर कॉल्ड सारा स्क्रीन इट इज रिटर्न बाय मनमोहन सिंह सो हियर देर इज अ पेयर देर इज अ पेयर विच इज हैविंग अफेक्शन एंड अटैचमेंट एंड लव टू ईच अदर दैट अटैचमेंट दैट लव इवन द एनिमल्स आर ऑल्सो हैविंग द Uh, feelings that is expressed in this poem let's start with the poem first stanza of the poem is here uh, the male was short as he necked so what is the first line is saying the male was short here the in this pair it is having a male and a female pair so in this pair the male was shot by the hunter hunter shot the male crane Uh, as he necked, when it necked, neck is nothing but stretch neck. Neck को जब वो stretch करता है, ऊंची करता है, उस वक्त क्या करता है? Hunter उसको short कर देता है. Uh, so when what the male was doing and what the female was doing is mentioned here. Uh, so see here, the male was shoot as he necked to pull the reluctant son out. So what is mentioned is reluctant son. What the word reluctant? Reluctant. Reluctant. This is the quality of the human being. Human being की एक quality होती है कि वो हिचकिचाते हैं कुछ करने से पहले. So यहाँ पे कौन हिचकिचा रहा है? Son हिचकिचा रहा है. Unwilling. Reluctant is nothing but unwilling. Who is unwilling? The son is unwilling to come out from the rim of horizon. Rim of horizon is nothing but the place where the where the sky. sky and the earth earth meet this place is called this place is called horizon so what is happening here here the male stretch the neck out to pull out is the reluctant son reluctant son from the rim of horizon yahan se kya kar raha hai male wala jo male bird hai wo apni neck ko stretch kiya hai aur wo kisko pakda it is just the imagination it is the imagination of the manmohan singh he is just creating the imaginary scenery that the bird is trying to pull out the reluctant son the son which is not willing to come out as the human being when we get up from the bed we don't like to we, we reluctant to come out from the bed especially in the uh, winter season we don't want to come out from the bed we we feel cool in the beds only so the same feelings are mentioned here the poet has used what the poet has used here reluctant the quality of the human being is mentioned here so what the poetic device is used here the poetic device personification is used in this line the figures of speech personification is used because here The sun is non-living and it is showing the quality of the human being. So it is which figures of speech personification from the rim of horizon. From where it is, where it is trying to come out, uh, where the sun is reluctant. From it is fr- reluctant to come out from the rim of horizon. Hyperbole is also used here. Hyperbole is nothing but. लाइक मेरे को इतनी भूख लगी है कि मैं हाथी को निगल सकता हूं सो दिस इज द थिंग इट इज एग्जैगरेटेड एग्जैगरेट करके बोला जाता है तो यहां पे क्या बोला जा रहा है सन को खींचने की कोशिश कर रहा है मेल क्रेन तो इज इट पॉसिबल द क्रेन कैन पुल आउट द सन नो नॉट पॉसिबल बट एग्जैगरेटली द पोइट हेज सेड यर सो इट इज कॉल्ड हाइपर बोली in the it is also figures figures of speech hyperbole so it means two figures of speech use speech are used in this stanza let uh, see what the question will be asked to you in the examination so first question the time of the day suggested in the poem is which time of the day is suggested here that uh, sun is reluctant to come out is nothing but it is the uh, sunrise time or morning time morning time it is and second question the sun is described as reluctant sun what does it mean kya meaning ho rahi hai just it is the feeling of the male bird that the sun is reluctant and he is trying to pull it out that is it is the feeling of the male bird 
what are the poetic devices used here the poetic devices two poetic devices are used in this same sentence one is personification and another one is hyperbole who is pulling out the reluctant son who is pulling out the reluctant son the male was pulling out the answer of the poem now see she flew crying she refers to the female crane when the male crane was shoot this the female crane what she was doing let's see she flew crying she started flying she started flying and she what she was doing she was crying because she was sad that male was shoot by the hunter and she was very sad and that's why she was crying as he was picked up hands and jaws jaise hi wo usko pick kar leta hands and jaws jaise wo dead body pada hua rehta to usko kya kar leta wo hunter apni bag mein usko stuff kar leta hai bhar leta hai to wo kya karti hai flew karna start karti hai unna start karti hai aur cry karne lagti hai and a proud neck was humbled kya ho gaya jo proudly jo neck utha tha stretch kiya tha wo kya ho gaya ab humbled ho gaya humbled ka meaning hota hai lowered in डिग्निटी डिग्निटी कम हो जाना या उसमें जान ना रहना ये मीनिंग होता है उसका तो अब वो क्या हो गया जो नेक में जान थी वो पूरा प्राउडली ऐसे ठहरा हुआ था वो क्या हो गया लोअर हो गया इट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी लाइफ इन इट्स बॉडी To lie like dirty linen, अब वो कैसे पड़ा हुआ है like dirty linen, गंदे कपड़े जैसे पड़ा होता है लेनिन का मतलब होता है क्लोथ जैसे गंदे कपड़े पड़े हुए होते हैं जमीन पे सेम मैनर इन द सेम मैनर द मेल बॉडी वॉज लाइन and what he did so he in a coarse washing bag what he did he put that body in a coarse washing bag coarse means rough there is a rough washing bag like washing we what do we do we throw that uh, dirty clothes dirty linens in our washing bag in the same manner what he did he brought a wash a, a dirty bag and he stuff its body into the bag Let's see what the question will be asked to us in the examination. Pick up hands and jaws suggest. What what it is suggesting that he wa he was picked up hands and jaws. What it is suggesting? It is suggesting the callousness of the hunter. The callousness of the hunter is suggested here because without having any mercy, without having any pity on the male crane, he he picked up hands and jaws and stuff its body into the. dirty uh, coarse washing bag and he carried the bag dash is compared to the dirty linen what is compared to the dirty linen exactly right that uh, male body is compared to the dirty linen what did the hunters do with the dead sarus screen what did, what he did what he did he picked up hands and jaws he picked the, the hands and jaws and stuff its body into a, a coarse washing bag and carried the Dead the body of the male crane. Now the third stanza of the poem. What the third stanza is telling? Let's see. She circled the sky. She refers to the female Sarah crane. She circled the sky. What she was doing? She was circling in the sky. In moments of grace. In which type of moment she is having? She is having the graceful moment. She is uh, circling with the graceful moment over his disgraceful end. Which type of end it is? The male has the disgraceful, that is shameful. Disgraceful means shameful, and it is very shameful end of the male crane that she is flying over the spot where he was he was dead. On that spot she was circling. Uh, the killers went away, and she returned. Now the killer went away. He carried the dead body of the male crane, and he went away. And she returned to the death scene. Where she went? She went to the death scene where the male bird shot. On that spot she went, and what she did? Let's see. With grief, how she went with a grief, with sadness. with grief that inscribed its intensity because of the grief its intensity its strength its uh, its power is inscribed means carved because of that grief in dots and pits what she was doing in dots dots and pits is it's a short and long cries of the birds are called dots and pits in dots and pits like a moa scold 
what she was doing she was sending message she was sending her grief to the other birds in which type of language in dots and pits in short dots means short and pits means long long and short cries in long and short cries she is sending the message like a morse code morse code is a language it's a symbolic language it's a, it is used in the jungle for giving the signal to its partner to to the uh, members of a crew they use a symbolic language maybe like lights they will use they will use the sound to inform some information so is she sent the message in the same manner in the morse code morse code is a symbolic language symbolic language mein apne message ko send karti hai apne dusre दूसरे बर्ड्स को ऑफ द बर्ड्स बर्ड्स सारो अपने सारो को वो सेंड कर रही है किसको सेंड कर रही है दूसरे बर्ड्स को सेंड कर रही है ट्रांसमिटेड टू द एयर शी ट्रांसमिटेड हर सारो टू द एयर दैट अदर बर्ड्स आल्सो विल कम टू नो अबाउट द ग्रीफ सो लेट्स सी व्हाट द क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क टू एग्जामिनेशन व्हाट इज द बर्ड सारो ट्रांसमिटेड टू द एयर लाइक how it is transmitted like dot in dots and pits like like morse code the uh, the sorrow of the female crane is transmitted to the air that you have to write what is the morse code morse code is nothing but our symbolic language which is used to send messages now the fourth stanza of the poem with her beak her refers to the female bird beak with her beak what she was doing she kissed a few feathers what she did she kissed a few feathers kissed i picked the ones and what she did she picked the ones that wind had not taken away jisko wind apne saath leke nahi gayi jisko wind uda ke nahi leke gayi unko kya karti hai wo kiss karti hai aur kya karti hai dekhiye and sat to hatch and she sat on them to hatch hatch is nothing but a process of producing the young one hatching jo bird karte hain that after laying the eggs the legs सॉरी एक्स देते हैं वो देने के बाद क्या करते हैं उसको हैच हैचिंग प्रोसेस करते हैं सो शी स्टार्टेड द हैचिंग प्रोसेस शी वाज थिंकिंग दैट कि ये फेदर में से क्या होगा एक यंग वन निकलेगा मेरा मेट फिर से वापस आ जाएगा शी वाज थिंकिंग दिस इज द फीलिंग ऑफ द बर्ड ओनली एंड सैड टू हैच द ब्लड स्टेन फेदर वॉट शी स्टार्टेड टू हैच द ब्लड स्टेन फेदर विच आर लाइंग ऑन द डेथ सीन शी सैट ऑन दम एंड स्टार्टेड हैचिंग प्रोसेस into our toddling chick she she think that toddling is nothing but waddling she she is thinking that a waddling uh, chick will come out of that feather after a process of hatching after a 20 or uh, 18 days that uh, another bird will come out from the uh, that feather she was thinking that is the feeling of the bird which she was having that might be my mate will come back So let's see what the question will come to your examination. What does the expression "toddling chick" mean? Toddling chick means the young ones of the bird. What did the female bird do on the death scene? What she did do? She kissed the feathers. Why did she sit on the blood-stained feathers? She sat on the blood-stained feather to hatch the. to hatch the feather the fifth stanza and the last concluding part of the uh, poem is here see what happened at the end a wave of sea she had never seen the sentence is saying that you see that beautiness in the sentence a wave of sea ek lehar aayi yahan pe kisko kaha gaya hai call of death ko kaha gaya hai call of death डेथ का बुलावा मौत का बुलावा आ चुका है इसको ए वेव ऑफ सीज शी हैड नेवर सीन मौत को किसी ने नहीं देखा दैट्स व्हाई दैट्स वर्ड इज यूज्ड ए वेव ऑफ सी शी हैड नेवर सीन एक ऐसी वेव आती है जिसको इसने पहले कभी नहीं देखा था कम टू हर फ्रॉम फार अवे कहा से आई बहुत दूर से आई कौन आई है एक वेव आई है और क्या करती है वो देख, वेव देखिए एंड कैरीड हर टू हिम हर टू हिम यहाँ पे बोला गया है हर फीमेल को कहा गया हिम मेल को कहा गया उसके बाद क्या करती है वो वेव आके उस फीमेल को लेके चली जाती है अपने साथ और कहा पे लेके जाती है उसके पास उसके मेट के पास लेके जाती है She went away beyond Hume's words. अब वो कहा गई She went away. वो इसने यहां पर उसको प्रेस कर रहा है उसकी तारीफ कर रहा है Hume's words. Hume's words में क्या कहा गया है वहां पर वीडोड बर्ड्स क्या करते हैं वीक्स टूगेदर 
वीक्स टूगेदर सी के पास डिसाइड क्या करते हैं अपने मेट के वास्ते में वी डोंट बर्ड्स अपने मेट्स के वास्ते में मोरिंग करते हैं लेकिन यहां पे इसने तो क्या किया अपनी लाइफ को ही सेक्रीफाइस कर दिया सो दैट्स व्हाई द सेंटेंस इज यूज शी वेंट अवे बियॉन्ड द ह्यूम्स वर्ड्स शी वेंट अवे बियॉन्ड द ह्यूम्स वर्ड्स बियॉन्ड द लेजेंड्स एंड बियॉन्ड द लेजेंड्स लेजेंड के भी बहुत बियॉन्ड चले गए ने लेजेंड का मतलब होता है स्टोरीज फ्रॉम एंशियंट टाइम एंशियंट टाइम की स्टोरीज जो होते हैं ना उन स्टोरीज से भी बहुत आगे पहुंच चुकी है ये एंड फेबल्स ऑफ ह्यूमन लव और जो फेबल्स हैं एक ट्रेडिशनल शॉर्ट स्टोरीज को फेबल कहा जाता है जो फेबल्स हैं आप लोगों की इंसानों के पास उनसे भी बहुत ज्यादा लव इस बर्ड का था इसलिए अपने लाइफ अपनी लाइफ को इसने क्या किया पाइन कर लिया डेथ के साथ सो दिस इज द लव ऑफ द फीमेल बर्ड दैट शी हैड अचीव्ड दैट शी हैड अचीव्ड द डेथ बिकॉज शी लव्स वेरी मच टू द मेल क्रेन सो लेट सी वॉट द क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट ऑन दिस स्टैंडा हाउ इज द एंड ऑफ द फीमेल क्रेन सजेस्टेड इन द पोएम हाउ द एंड इज सजेस्टेड दट ए वेव ऑफ सी कम टू हर एंड शी हैज नॉट सीन इट एंड इट कैरीड इट टू हिम What is the meaning of a wave of sea? May wave of a sea is nothing but a call of death. Wave of sea किसको कहा गया Metaphorically बोला गया है यहाँ पे Death को ही कहा गया Call of death को क्या कहा गया है Wave of sea कहा गया है What happens to the female bird at the end? She pines to the death. उसने क्या किया Death को अपने गले लगा लिया What is legend? Legend is nothing but short stories from ancient time. जो पुराने जमाने की short stories होती है उनको कहते हैं legends. And what is the fable? Fable किसको कहा गया जाता है Traditional short stories जो होते हैं जिसमें animals as character use किया जाता है उनको क्या कहा जाता है Fable कहा जाता है And this is the complete poem of uh, to a pair of Saras. 